Well, we came to the Jewel Wildlife Area today, hoping to get some uh, video of the Roosevelt Wild Elk. And as you can see, the wildlife viewing area is completely empty this morning. So, we're gonna have to come back another time and see if we can find some elk to video. But not gonna happen today. Well, we drove just a little bit further down the road and we found the elk. There they are. And right in front here is this is like a, a paid tour group that you can take and you come out and you feed the elk. So they actually let the people go out there and, and feed them off of the back of that. That would be kind of cool, I guess. But there are the wild Roosevelt elk. Looks like dinner to me. Have those big light colored patches on their butt. Looks kind of weird. There's a guy with horns. I don't see very many of them out there, but there's a couple. He's the biggest biggest horns I saw out there. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell they finished it off over there. Okay, y'all. We stopped at a second viewing area. They were, we stopped at one just a few minutes ago they were being fed at. This one, they're not being fed. They're just hanging out here. And these are a lot closer. These are seriously maybe 30 feet away from me. That's pretty awesome. This one's got a couple of uh, guys with bigger horns too. Let's see if I can zoom in and yeah, see that guy? They're so calm though, they know they're protected here. They don't really care about us sitting here watching them, taking video. No, I'm not paying you guys. This is a free video. Ooh, that one in the back back there, too. He's got pretty good horns on him. I don't know where he went. It's hard to see when you're zooming out. Oh, there he is. Look at that guy. Two of them right there next to each other. Oh, there's another one. Still looks like dinner to me. There's about 50 of them here. Last place there was, uh, well, probably 40. Close to 100 acres, or 100 acres, <laughs> 100 antlers, how's that? <laughs> 100 elk in the last two spots. They're within uh, half a mile of each other, the two herds. How cool is it that you can just like come right up to them practically and watch them? There is a fence between us, by the way. Not much of one. <laughs> I'm sure they could get me if they wanted to, but might slow them down enough for me to get in the truck. <laughs> dinner, dinner, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> We had a freezer just waiting for you. That's right. <laughs> we have grass-fed cow in it now. We could have grass-fed elk in there with it. That's right. I'd take some of that. Oh, yeah. 
such cool looking animals though. And you think these are uh, slow, like a cow, you know, just a regular cow. But these things are very fast. Don't let their size fool you. They can get up and move. I'd like to see them run. Maybe I'd throw some sticks at them or something. They'd run. Firecracker. That'd work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any on me. They'd be like, oh shit, sun hunting season's here. <laughs> <laughs> and they're... They're looking at us. They know we're here, but they are not scared. They're not running. It's just another day in the life for them. It actually looks like they might have been fed this morning. I can see a couple of piles of hay out there, so this might have been the first stop. These are wild elk. They are not in captivity. They can leave whenever they want. And it kind of looks like they're headed that way now. Get tired of me sitting here videotaping and they're like, <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. I wish they'd run though. Shoot. Shoo, little Loki, shoo. <laughs> they might run if you keep that up. 